It's common for spreadsheets that help us run pivotal operations to reach limitations when they begin to take the place of a database. Performance issues begin to be noticed in speed or search. This is where Google's BigQuery database comes in, especially to help centralize data from multiple sources or process very large volumes of rows and columns when data exceeds spreadsheet quotas. In this episode, I will share how to use an app script to upload multiple Google spreadsheets at once into a database and then build dynamic dashboards for your stakeholders to find insights using a free Google product called Data Studio. Note that this video's description has a lot of excellent links to check out, including the script and instructions on how to set this up with greater detail. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. BigQuery is a SQL database in Google Cloud's platform. It's incredibly fast and has a free tier of 10 gigabytes of data a month, which allows organizations to quickly prototype if this is a valuable solution for them when it comes to hosting their data sets in a database. First step is to log in to BigQuery. The link is provided in this video. There's a free sandbox if it's your first time. Then create a new data set in BigQuery called Sheets underscore upload. Next, make a copy of the spreadsheet linked in the video and leave column A, C, D, and E as is for your first test. Next, copy your BigQuery project ID and use it to replace the values in column B of the spreadsheet with your own project ID. Next, note column E is called append, which has drop-down options of false or true. This tells the script that you are adding data to an existing table. Choosing false will tell the script to create a new table and will override an existing table with the same name. Next, locate the Sheets to BigQuery menu at the top of your sheet and select Upload. You will be asked to authorize your script, and after a few seconds, the upload will be complete, and column F of your sheet, called Status, will be populated with the timestamp of the upload for verification purposes. To ensure the upload worked, let's visit BigQuery and refresh your browser. Next, expand your Sheets Upload dataset. You will find two tables. One is called CA Financial Data, and the other just Financial Data. Next, click the CA Financial Data table, and then Details to verify that there are 12 total rows. This is because we uploaded six rows from a tab in your sheet called California, and then appended another six from another tab called New California. You can repeat this process with your own spreadsheets by changing column A with your own spreadsheet URLs and choosing false in the append column to create a new table. To visit the code, select Tools, Script Editor from the Spreadsheets top menu. A couple of things to note. First, if you choose the file called Code, you will find the logic that displays the custom menu called Sheets to BigQuery. Next, the following constants locate the position of the columns in the sheet. Next, the for each method processes each row, and upon completion, it updates the status column with a timestamp. Next, the function Sheets to BigQuery uploads the data from your spreadsheet into BigQuery by passing all the necessary parameters, such as the URL of the sheet, the project ID, the data set, and table name in BigQuery, as well as confirmation if a sheet should be a new table or instead append it to an existing one. Do note you must have at least edit permissions to the BigQuery data set you want to write values to. And there you have it, a way to bulk upload multiple spreadsheets into BigQuery. 
Do note that you can also upload spreadsheets directly from BigQuery's interface one by one. However, this app script automates this for you, which is handy when you need to perform frequent uploads. Now, for your stakeholders, the magical part of all of this is being able to access this centralized data from a dynamic and filterable report using Data Studio. Note that you can create formulas to perform important calculations at scale directly in the dashboard. We connect Data Studio with BigQuery with just a few clicks thanks to its built-in connectors. Next, add tables, filters, design elements, and then publish it to your desired audience based on permission settings. You can even schedule the dashboard to email stakeholders with the latest data that you upload on a routine basis. Well, I hope this walkthrough inspired you to try moving a manual data analytics process that presently involves pulling data from many different spreadsheets, especially very large ones with tons of formulas. And if you found this episode helpful, friends, please click like and subscribe to receive alerts of future episodes. Cheers.